What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode here on the PC Fun YouTube channel. Today we have got a pretty cool episode or at least we're gonna try to bring you a pretty cool episode. Basically what we're doing today is we are gonna be going out and we're gonna be using our AquaView underwater camera and catching some shallow water panfish. We're looking for bluegills, perch, crappies, whatever is living in the shallows and we're gonna have the camera down there to show you guys all the eats and everything underwater. So it should be a pretty sick episode as long as the fish cooperate. Now, there's a little bit of a hang up or a little bit of a key to this fishing trip. The ice has gotten a little bit rough in some parts of South Central Wisconsin. So we are going to be very careful because we know that the ice is sketchy, uh, but we're gonna go out and we're gonna try to get this bad boy done. So let's go ahead, let's jump right in. Let's see what we can make happen. All right, guys, so I just want to show you something here. My live scope is currently on perspective mode. So if I'm in shallow water and I'm looking for fish in weeds, this is what I really, really like to use to locate where those fish are holding. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. And I'm going to turn the deucer to see if we can capture a little bit more. And obviously I can play around with the gain and everything like that to show you a bit but you can see there is a fish right there you can see it swimming there's a fish there swimming fish there swimming so there's fish really all through here guys i mean tons and tons of fish on perspective you could see them just splotted everywhere so we're gonna go ahead and drop down get our camera going and see if we can catch some fish Check that one out guys, <clears throat> that is a beauty right there. Shallow water came up and chowed that hog pours minnow on the camera. <clears throat> Just hanging off there, I have to reset that. That's a nice one, we're gonna go ahead and keep that one for a fish fry. Profile can have a big, big effect when fish are in a neutral mood. Big, big effect. Not a bad perch. We're gonna keep that one. The good eater. Fry up real good. Uh, actually, I think we're gonna let that one go. Let's check that out. We are gonna let that one go because he's got some meat damage. <laughs> Decent bluegill. Nothing too big, but decent. Yes, got the walleye eat it on the Aquaview, baby. Let's go. Let's go. No, I got it. Come on. Can't believe I got that eat on the aqua view. That was so sick. So sick. Check that out, guys. Got that fish eating on the aqua view. That was epic. Fish came right in and just chomped it gonna measure that one might be illegal oh yeah epic 15 and a half inch here perfect legal walleye let's go yes well guys I was over there tending to my walleye and Ryan just popped this tank of a crappie 13 and a half inch here I have yet to catch crappie this morning but Ryan is kicking butt that's a beauty yeah, buddy. 
Oh guys, the ice out here is pretty dang sketchy where we're fishing. Just leaned over to get that fish back in and all of a sudden the ice goes Doof. Not good. Another crappie. Man, crappie is like crazy. It's coming in like crazy. Not a bad one. Beautiful. Not keeping a ton of fish today, so but that one's a borderline keeper anyways. I mean these fish are coming, you know, I'm only maybe foot and a half under the ice maybe. I'd stand over the hole and show you the bite, but I'm afraid the ice is gonna break. There's a good gill. Oh, of course we get a good one that pops off. Of course. I actually probably would've kept that one. <laughs> nice, pretty dark male there. There's a nice one, guys. That one will go in the keeper pile. Came up and shouted on the camera. There's two of them, though. Put that one on the ice. You guys can probably see this gill, how close it is. That was insane. That gill's fins were almost touching the ice. I mean, it was so close to the top of the ice. Literally almost touching the top of the ice. Unreal. Okay, no, let's go back home, buddy. Thank you. I got that bluegills coming all the way up almost to the hole right here to eat the bait. All right, guys, so we're gonna do a little experiment here. Friend Timmy said he's been able to catch them without bait. So we're gonna try without bait right here, just a bare fisca jig. All right, guys, here we go. No bait on the camera so you can see it. And there you go. Bluegill, no bait. The fish came up and just ate that Fisca jig bear. Nothing on it. Camera proof. Whew. Well guys, pulling a sled on bare ground doesn't get any easier the older you get, I can tell you that. Definitely winded and out of breath. But we came out and we did exactly what we hoped to do. You guys saw a bunch of fish eat in that video, which was super cool. And not only did we get them to eat, but we got them to eat on a bear jig with absolutely no bait, no plastic, nothing. And you saw it, proof is in the video. So that was super cool guys. As you saw, the ice was sketchy in some places. So definitely be careful if you're going out in the South Central Wisconsin area. Some places are not holding up to these warm temperatures, especially if you're on areas that have current like I was today. So make sure you're being careful out there. If you haven't yet guys, please hit that subscribe button and also ding that notification bell. Got some super cool giveaways coming very, very soon. So make sure that you are here when they drop. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.